ordering online from your favorite restaurant is more popular than ever. That's why in today's video, I'm going to be covering the steps to successfully set up a restaurant for online ordering. Hi, I'm Morgan with Duda, and in today's video, I'm specifically going to be talking about the basics of a restaurant website, the differences in the different online ordering systems, and the specifics of what you can do to integrate that into your website. So if you're ready to learn how to do these things for yourself, then keep on watching. First, let's talk about the basics of a restaurant website. A restaurant website requires many of the same elements that a regular small business website has. For example, a great header, easy navigation, great photos, but with a few additions. The first of these is a great design that is accessible on desktop, tablets, and mobile. Since so many people are typically looking up restaurants when they're on the go or they're ready to eat right then and there, it's so important that your website is mobile friendly. Another element includes beautiful galleries that include pictures of your food. Photographing food can be very tricky. Do not think that you can get away snapping a few pictures on your phone and calling it good. You want your food to look as delectable and appetizing as possible. So it's encouraged that you hire a professional food photographer to take photos of your food so you can display them on your website. And speaking of menus, you want to display a beautiful, easy to navigate menu that is integrated within the website itself. You do not want users to have to click and open up a PDF, which may not work on certain devices and ultimately create a bad user experience. For these reasons, you want to make sure that you have a clean, simple, easy to find menu that is integrated in your website. Other important elements for a restaurant website include your business hours, contact information, and a widget that includes a map to your location. Lastly, you'll want to include reservation options so that way people can book a table and make a reservation directly from your website, but also online ordering options for curbside pickup or for delivery. Next, let's talk about your options for including online ordering on your website because you have quite a few ways that you can do this. Your first option is outsourced online ordering and delivery solutions. These include services that you're probably already very familiar with, such as Postmates, Grubhub, Uber Eats, but even smaller, newer services like Slice and Caviar. Now there are a ton of benefits for using these outsourced online ordering and delivering platforms. For example, they already have a huge user base that you can tap into almost instantly. So you don't have to worry about getting your name out there because they're gonna do that for you. Also, they have their own third-party delivery service that is trained up and ready to go so you don't even have to worry about managing your own delivery staff. Now, while these services are incredibly convenient for both restaurateurs and customers alike, one of the biggest downsides is that they take a significant portion of the revenue of each sale, leaving the restaurant owner with less money in their pocket. Option two is standalone online ordering and point of sale systems. Solutions like Chow Now and Gloria Food offer commission-free online ordering. And some solutions like Toast include the point of sale hardware designed specifically for restaurants. Option three, existing e-commerce tools. Although an e-commerce solution may not be the first thing an agency thinks of when setting up an online ordering system for a restaurant client, the option is still there. For example, Duda is deeply integrated with Equid's e-commerce platform and has a great example of a restaurant site that has been set up with online ordering. You can check that out at tacoshop.equid.com. Now that you know your different options for online ordering for a restaurant site, let's talk about the different ways that you can actually add it to the site itself. Method number one, add a call to action button that links to a third party ordering service. These third party services make it very easy to drag and drop buttons to your site so that way users can quickly click and then be directed to the third party service. All you have to do is drag and drop the button to your site, design the button, add some copy, and then add a link to that third party service. Method number two is to add an HTML widget to the website. Use an HTML embed from the solution provider to include a pre-formatted button or widget directly on your site. But you'll wanna play around with these to make sure that it matches the format of your site. Here are some great examples from Toast. Method number three, build your own custom widget. You can even build your own custom online ordering widget, which will allow for more features and functionality for your online ordering system. However, this will take some custom coding and a lot more time and effort. And lastly, method number four, use an existing e-commerce solution. If you're already using an existing e-commerce solution, you may be able to leverage that to build out menu items as product pages. Again, you can see a great example of this by going to tacoshop.equid.com. 
All right, there you have it. Everything you need to know to set up a restaurant for online ordering. We talked about the key parts of a restaurant website, your different options for online ordering and delivery solutions, and lastly, the four different ways to add those to your restaurant website. If you learned something new about restaurant websites, be sure to give this video a like, leave us a comment, and subscribe for more videos from Duda. And until our next video drops, be sure to check out these videos right here.